Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 26 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know that the commentary team will occasionally break the fourth wall during AC3's entrance? This one comes from Mike Austin who reveals a fourth wall break from the commentary team that takes place when using EC3 as Corey reveals that he's been speaking to the game developer nerds about EC3's rating. You know, I spoke with one of these game developer nerds. They said EC3's rating's gonna be somewhere in the 80s. In my opinion, he should be rated no less than 99. Did you know that there are hidden unselectable ramp, apron and ring post trons for Kurt Angle? Previously in the series, we covered how Kurt Angle's current day trons are included in the game for his Attitude Era model and can be assigned to his more current model, however, despite there being options for his main Titan Tron, Mini Tron and War movies, there was no option to choose a ramp, ring post or apron movie as there didn't appear to be any included in the game. Now though, it appears that that is not the case and that there are actually hidden and unused trons for Angle, as despite not being assigned to either model or included in the list of available options, Queen's Gangster Zero reveals that there are actually stage, ring post and apron trons for Angle in the game, as these can be seen when calling him out during promos in universe mode as well as during his entrance when he's assigned a Money in the Bank briefcase. Just why these trons only appear during his promo or Money in the Bank entrance is unknown, however, now that it's been brought to people's attention, maybe it's something that 2K could fix in an upcoming patch and make them available and create an entrance. Did you know it's now possible to use Triple H's King of Kings theme in Create an Entrance? This one comes from Legit Attires, who reveals that following patch 1.03, 2K have updated the list of available entrance themes to include Triple H14's King of Kings theme, which was previously unavailable for selection. Prior to the patch, the only way to use the theme was to copy Triple H14's entrance to another superstar, however, editing the entrance settings after copying them would then remove the music. Now though, all you need to do is load up Create an Entrance as normal and you'll find that the track is now available for selection under the name Triple H14. Did you know it's possible to remove individual teeth? This one is for all the creators out there as this year, rather than just include preset options for teeth like this, 2K have gone one step further by allowing players the ability to remove individual teeth which is perfect for anyone creating the likes of Mick Foley as it allows players to choose exactly which teeth they want to remove. To do this, all you need to do is first choose the preset teeth that you want to use, then upon accepting the changes, you'll be taken to this screen which lists all 12 available teeth and gives you the option to turn them on or off. Did you know it's possible to equip entrance only attire parts to in-ring attires? When it comes to create a superstar, one of the most annoying things is the limitations placed on certain clothing such as helmets, capes and outfits which stop players from using them on in-ring attires and instead only allow them to be used during entrances. Luckily though, Byronite reveals that there is a way around this that will allow players to use the entrance only parts on in-ring attires using the same glitch that I covered last year. To do this, what you want to do is create a new superstar or an alternate attire and then select the second attire's in-ring attire and change the attire type option from superstar to manager. Doing this will allow you to select any of the clothing options regardless of if they're entrance only parts or not, therefore what you want to do is create the in-ring attire that you want to use and add any entrance only parts. Once you've finished and you're happy with your attire, press accept to save the changes and go back to this screen. At this point, what you want to do is choose to edit your new in-ring attire and change the attire type option from Manager back to Superstar. Upon doing this, you'll be greeted with this prompt notifying you that the entrance only parts can't be used, so select Yes to acknowledge the message and then press the Cancel button which will see this message appear noting that your changes won't be saved where you'll want to choose Yes. Once you do this, you should find that the entrance only parts are actually still in place, meaning you can now save your creation and use it, allowing you to use the entrance only parts in matches which previously wasn't possible. So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.